with the introduction of chaos dust i thought it was imperative that i start actually farming stage 25 because before this i was content doing stage 24 of both the sand devil and the phantom shogun this team i got from nub raids who actually got his team this team that i'm showcasing right now from own alone yeah own alone uh, you know, I didn't get to fine-tune everything quite yet because I was trying to do all of this before the free re-gear event ended. Now, as you can see, this took, for this particular run, took 15 minutes and 37 seconds. I don't know why. Let me show you guys how the team works, and then we'll discuss everything that, that um, what do you call it, that you need to build. So, um, you know, the Sand Devil's going to wake up, or start out by smashing everybody, putting everybody to sleep, but Anira using her passive will revive herself and then bring back Drang in time to do the HP burn. Guys, this team is not easy to build. This is actually pretty gear intensive and you have to be extremely lucky when it comes to booking Aniri. So I have to preface this and let you guys know that if you're trying to farm stage 25 using this team, you need to know it's not going to be easy, but we'll break down the stats and the builds a little bit later. So she brings back uh, Walking Tomb Drang just in time. But how could I improve this, guys? What do you guys think? Because I this is like my second or third time running this team. Like I said, I just put them together, this together last night. But, uh, you know, that 15-minute run is just way too long. This is going to be an overnight farm for me. If I want to farm Sand Devil 25, it's going to be an overnight thing for me. Which... It usually has been for the most part for me because I don't have the capabilities to do a speed run quite yet. But if you guys in the community have any suggestions for me on how to improve, I'm more than happy to hear it. I would encourage and ask this of you. So this is the entire run. Aniri brings back Walking Tomb Drang. I'm using Walking Tomb Drang instead of Ninja because Ninja is locked in to my Phantom Shogun team using War Master. So if you're going to use somebody who does a three hitter, you can't get away with having War Master on them because it's going to wake up the Sand Devil a little bit too soon. Technically speaking, according to Owen, I don't know if Nubs mentioned it, but according to, not Owen, according to Owen alone, the guy who made this comp, you can use anybody. In fact, he used Raglan in his video uh, but of course it was going to take a long time so you can use anybody you want just keep in mind that if you have a multi-hitter you could get away with like somebody doing uh two hits but three hits would be too tricky in fact it might even fail because you're waking up the sand devil and turning things out of order so we're using walking tomb drang here and the reason i'm using walking tomb drang is because he only hits once and his hp burns are irresistible you will see Walking Tomb Drang does not have any gear on him except for his speed boots because if I didn't put the speed boots, he would go too slow, unable to put up the burns before the Sand Devil wakes up. So that's why I you know, have him in just boots, but he's not built with accuracy. He doesn't need accuracy. It's one of the best things about Walking Tomb Drang. Uh, another thing to note, if you are going to use Walking Tomb Drang, keep in mind that whoever you use as your damage dealer for this comp, they need to be squishy enough to die. So like, let's say you wanted to throw in Ninja, but he was too tanky. Or if you wanted to use WTD, but he was too tanky because he is an HP-based champion. If he doesn't die, it's going to throw things out of order. And what I have found was that sometimes uh, Walking Tomb Drang will be the one who's revived or she ends up reviving one of these food champions that are down here on the ground. And you don't want that to happen. So make sure that whoever you're using is somebody who is squishy enough to die. But this is basically the entire run, and we'll we'll break down everything in a little bit. It's it's pretty nice. It, it's it feels good to finally start farming Sand Devil 25 <laughs> and uh, Phantom Shogun 25, which I'll be doing my video for uh, him next. But yeah, this is usually if it doesn't, if, I, I don't know what happened on that 15 minute run almost 16 minute run but usually this is like a four minute run plus i'm pretty sure ninja would would do it a lot faster just because he explodes his poisons not his poisons his hp burns 
And he does like three of them. I was thinking about using Artac, but my Artac is closed in, is locked into my ice hard ice golem team. Yeah, so we're looking at a four or five minute run. Four and a half minute run. Okay, so uh, there it is. 188 turns, not the best, but look at that. This is the third time I run this, and you know I'm getting the Chaos Dust, which is, it's huge. Because you're able to go to certain champions and like rework um, your, if I wanted to rework this res, and instead put, put um, extra attack, I, I could. I can rework it and get extra attack on my Rotos. That's defense. Watch me just... There it is. An extra 20% for attack on Rotos. Now, I don't know if I should go for HP percent, but we're going to take it. Because now my Rotos is at 6.4. That's pretty nice. Uh, let me know if what, what you guys think. I haven't done research on Rotos yet to know if it's better to have you know, HP or attack. I think I knew at one point or I, I did some research and then I was supposed to do a champion god on him but completely forgot... Let's go ahead and show you guys the full outlook on everything. In his video, he did not, or he showed one where you didn't have to use, he said you basically don't have to use a preset. But if you use somebody who does healing, which Walking Tomb Drang does, WTD does have an equalizing HP balance move, uh, you're going to want to turn that off. So that's what I've done here. But again, you could just throw in, for an example, Ninja and or Ninja right here and Aniri. This is important here, guys. You guys have to know this. Aniri needs to be in the leader uh, leadership position right here. She needs. To, this is the position number one. This is the leadership position. She needs to be right here. The person that you want to revive has to be in position number one. So, I'm not sure as to why that is what it is, but it is what it is, and you need to abide by it if you want this to work. And here are the presets. Aniri doesn't have to do anything. I don't know if she should do something because, uh, you know, we saw that 15 minute run. We don't want that to happen again. Uh, somebody please let me know what I did wrong there. But we turned off this and that's it. The, the food doesn't matter. Uh, Aniri, you don't have to do anything. Dreng, you just turn this off so that he only does his HP burns. Can't be resisted. And let me show you guys their builds real quick. Thank you for 761 subs. So I do have two Aniris, and this was my Aniri that I was using for stage 24. The reason I couldn't use this Aniri is because she was fully booked. You do not want to have Aniri fully booked, it's not going to work. There's a very specific booking order that requires you to be extremely fucking lucky, okay? You guys, if you want this specific comp to work, the books have to land exactly the way that this is right here for for the specifically for her a3 rise to glory and for her passive guardian angel it needs to be booked maximum minimum of two from from what i'm understanding from what i've even tested this needs to be at level three and this needs to be at level three exactly because i've tried it with one more and one more here where it's completely maxed out for example with this one Completely maxed out, it doesn't work. The turn orders were off. Initially, I was looking at Saf's video, and he only had a maximum of one here, I think. And then for the passive, I think there was only like one here as well. You have to get very lucky, because you can't control where the books go. So you could end up with, you know, three here, and then like one here, but you're, you pretty much get messed up. I got extremely lucky to land where I got it. But you can only have them right here at three, here at level three, so that's important. If... You know, you, you mess that up, then I don't know what to tell you about any all other alternatives. If it happens to not land in your favor, uh, you know, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it, you're just kind of SOL, and that is what it is. And you probably have to wait for another Aniri. All right, so when it comes to kidding Godseeker Aniri out, you're going to want her in regeneration because you want her to be healing herself. And then you could use an Immortal set if you wanted to. But according to Saf, and I think I agree with this, it's better to use a Defiant set where you get an extra 10% of defense and a decrease of 15%. You know, the Sand Devil does AO AoE moves and it hits pretty hard. So what you want is to consider the EHP. 
Saf talks about effective HP. You know, I didn't understand, you know, it kind of went over my head, but I think I kind of understand it. The Sand Devil is going to take away your maximum HP, effectively reducing the amount of heals that you're going to be healing by with your regen set. You're going to want to look right here at the effective HP and then go with that. So while it is nice to have a lot of HP, you're also going to want to have a good balance of defense and not neglect defense at all. In fact, defense will help to, I think what Saf says, is reduce the amount of damage taken altogether so that more of the max HP doesn't get stripped away. I don't know, I would say go go check his video out because he's so much better at explaining this than I am. But you could use any Immortal set because Own alone's the originator of this comp, uh, as far as I know, used Immortal and Regen. Here are the stats that are working for me. I have 69k HP, 4500 defense, 249 speed. I do not know if there is wiggle room in terms of the speeds. 249 is what uh you know i've been going by based on the videos that that i've been seeing and 249 seems to be working from his video the other stats don't matter so you want them you want god seeker near to survive and then also to be at that exact speed here are her masteries did i show you guys masteries i think i showed you guys masteries but i didn't go over it so here are the masteries the reason we're taking res over extra defense and going for blast proof is because Saf said in his video that the critical hits from the sand devil is what is going to kill you so we're taking improved parry to decrease the damage this champion receives by eight percent when hit with a critical hit to help you survive a lot better because this is an eight percent versus just five percent from aoe's so that's why we're taking that we're taking increased healing shadow healing because as Saf mentioned the sand devil is going to heal i think and you're going to want to heal with the sand devil resurgent definitely take delayed death for some extra damage mitigation up to six percent and then you could take your counter attack masteries spirit haste is what you're going to want to take from the support tree with your dead food you're going to have a neary go a lot faster and that's what makes this composition work and then we're taking extra hp Walking Tomb Dreng has basically nothing except these two pieces of gear. You don't need to have an Immortal set. I just wanted to match them together. What does matter is having a speed boot so he can go fast enough to make a move whenever he's revived before the Sand Devil comes back. Yeah, so this is what I have on Walking Tomb Dreng. Uh, basically nothing. You just want him fast enough to make a move before the Sand Devil wakes up. And so that he can place his HP burns, which is irresistible. So even outside of the Sandel, if he wanted to build Walking Tomb Drain, you could build him with no accuracy. He doesn't need it. These are the masteries. I don't think they matter because he just comes back for the one turn to place the HP burns. But you can you can copy this if you want to, but I don't think it's necessary. We don't have to worry about War Master on WTD because his A2 that places... The HP burn is only a one-hitter, so you're fine doing this. I do have Brimstone on him. If it ever does proc, uh, you know, it'll help. And if you want to see my new Phantom Shogun 25 team, check this video out right here.